good morning everyone in the previous lecture we have studied some of the definition of the joint probability distribution that is the first definition we have learnt is joint probability next marginal distribution next expectation next variance and standard deviation now we look into the definition of covariance the covariance of x and y is denoted by cov of x comma y and it is defined as covariance of x comma y which is equal to summation i summation j that is with respect to i and this is with respect to j of xi minus mu x into yj minus mu y into jij the, the simplified form of this we can be written it as e of xy minus mu x into mu y now the next definition the correlation the correlation of x and y denoted by rho of x comma y and it is defined by rho of x comma y which is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x sigma y so here we have to note some of the things that is if x and y are independent random variables then e of x comma y which is equal to e of x into e of y similarly no, sorry the second one covariance of x comma y which is equal to zero when the covariance is zero then the correlation is also equal to zero that is row of that is row of x comma y which is equal to zero and please note here v of x is nothing but variance variance is the variance of x which is equal to sigma x square which is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square now we will solve one example on the joint probability distribution that is example number one the joint probability distribution table for two random variables x and y is as follows they will be giving the table and they told you to calculate the marginal distribution then expectation of x and y and x into y and standard deviation of x and y covariance of x and y and correlation of x and y further they told you to verify that x and y are dependent random variables and also find p of x plus y must be greater than zero now we'll solve one by one please look at the table these are the vertical values are with respect to x and this the first row is with respect to y value and these are j this is x and this is y these are j i j now first we'll calculate marginal distribution marginal distribution of x and y will get by adding the respective rows and the respective columns see here x has the values that is 1 and 2 the vertical column will be represented in the form of the horizontal row that is 1 comma 2 now to find f of x i have to add the first row that is 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.3 which is equal to 0.6 see here 0.6 similarly i have to add the second row 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 that is 0.4 now we have to calculate for y y has the values as minus 2 minus 1 4 comma 4 and 5 so here i have written minus 2 minus 1 4 and 5 now we have to add for y we have to add respective columns the first column we have to add the we have to write first value second column second value add the third column third value and the fourth column fourth value please here 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is nothing but 0 0.3 next 0 0.2 0 0.1 again 0 0.3 next 0 plus 0 0.1 0 0.1 if 0 0.3 plus 0 is 0 0.3 see here how I'll get f of xi that is adding the respective row I'll get first row if I add then I'll get f of x1 for the second row f of x2 now for f of y or g of y adding the first column g of y1 second column g of y2 third column g of y3 this is 
fourth column that is g of y4 now we have calculated the marginal distribution now we'll move further that is now we'll calculate expectation of x it is denoted by mu x and which can be defined by the formula summation xi into f of xi so here xi is here into f of xi is also here 1 into 0.6 plus 2 into 0.4 after simplification the answer will be 1.4 similarly for y that is summation y into g of y that is minus 2 into 0.3 plus minus 1 into 0.3 plus 4 into 0.1 plus 5 into 0.3 after simplification the answer is 1 now we'll calculate the expectation of x into y x into y is nothing but x summation x i y j into j i j no see here from the given table x i y j into j i j summation we have to do 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.1 plus here 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.1 the next term is 1 into minus 1 into 0 0.2 plus 1 into 4 into 0 plus 1 into 5 into 0 0.3 see similarly we have to do for the second row and simplify it you are going to get the answer as 0.9 this is expectation of x into y now the second one that is standard deviation standard deviation is denoted by sigma x whole square which is given by the formula e of x square minus e of x whole square we know this that is we have calculated just now here e of x now we, are, we will calculate e of x square e of x square is nothing but it is given by summation xi square into f of xi xi square into f of xi we have the table here xi square into f of xi means 1 square into 0 0.6 plus 2 square into 0 0.4 here 1 square into 0.6 1 square is 1 2 plus 2 square into 0.4 2 square is 4 4 into 0.4 after simplification the answer will be 2.2 similarly for y that is e of y square which is equal to summation y j square g of y j see here minus 2 square into 0.3 plus minus 1 square into 0.3 plus 4 square into 0.1 plus 5 square into 0 0.3 i have written the values and simplified 10.6 we know that sigma x square which is equal to what is the formula e of x square minus e of x whole square e of x square is 2.2 2.2 minus e of x square is we have calculated here 1.4 that is 1.4 whole square after simplification the answer will be 0 0.24 i need sigma x therefore this root of 0 0.24 is nothing but 0 0.49 similarly for y that is e of y square minus e of y whole square that is here e of y square is 10.6 then e of y is 1 1 square is 1 therefore this will be equal to 9.6 then square root of 9.6 is 3.1 now we will calculate covariance of x comma y it is given by the formula e of x comma y minus e of x into e of y e of x comma y is see here 0 0.9 0 0.9 and e of x is what 1.4 e of y is 1 therefore after simplification we will get the answer as minus 0 0.5 now we will calculate correlation correlation is given by co covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x into sigma y that is minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.49 into 3.1 after simplification it will be minus 0 0.3 please carefully have to do the problem because the covariance is depend on the e of x into y and the values of 
e of x and e of y the correlation is depending on the formula i mean depending on the covariance if you miss one step or if you get wrong in one step the whole sum will be wrong next we'll find the whether the x and y are independent random variables according to the definition of the independent random variables i have told you that if f of x i into g of y j must be equal to j i j so here it can be seen that f of x1 into g of y1 that is x1 is here f of x1 g of y1 is here that is 0 0.6 into 0 0.3 that is equal to 0 0.1 whether 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 which is equal to 0 0.1 here 0 0.6 into 0 0.3 is nothing but 0 0.18 and 0 0.18 is not equal to j11 that is 0 0.1 therefore we are saying that x and y are dependent x and y are dependent so here we have concluded that x and y are dependent now for x we have the values it is given that 1 comma 2 and for the y we have the values minus 2 minus 1 comma 4 and 5 they are given the condition that x plus y when i do the x plus y the value must come it must be greater than 0 therefore it is applicable only when the values of x and y takes the values as c here x1 and y3 from the given table itself if i do 1 plus of minus 2 is nothing but what that is minus 1 minus 1 is whether it is greater than 0 no it is less than 0 therefore we will not write it then 1 plus of minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 again it is 0 then it is not going it is not satisfying the given condition next 1 plus 4 that is 5 therefore x1 y3 we are going to write x1 y3 as the first term that is x1 y3 that is 1 comma 4 similarly the x1 y4 and x2 y2 x2 y3 and x2 y4 according to the condition p of x plus y must be greater than 0 therefore this x for function x1 y3 we can write it as the entry of j will be written as j13 here for the second term j14 for this j22 and for this j23 for this j24 we have to write respective values of j13 that is j13 is j13 this is 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 3 is 0 1 3 0 similarly look at the table and write the respective values then simplify it you are going to get the answer 0 0.5 then according to the condition 0 0.5 is greater than 0 thus we have proved it thank you